What if testing your components for accessibility violations were as easy as linting your files for syntax errors? Would you give it a try? In this video, I'll show you how to effortlessly automate accessibility testing inside of your storybook, and in doing so, improve the UX of your components for all. Let's dive in. For this, we'll use the gold standard DOM auditing tool, Axe by DQ. Axe runs checks on a page based on the WCAG guidelines. Now, Axe can't make your components accessible. That's something you need to know upfront, but it has been known to catch 57% of WCAG violations. So today, what we're gonna do is automate those checks and automate the tests to make sure that we don't have any regressions once we have Fix those violations. Open a new terminal, add Storybook Test Runner and Axe Playwright. Install Playwright dependencies to your system. Create a new file in the Storybook directory called testrunner.js, and it will paste some configuration from a blog post by colleague Varun Vakar. It requires inject Axe and check A11Y from the Axe Playwright package and then export some configuration that utilizes two hooks. Before the page renders, we'll take that page and inject Axe into it, and after the page renders, we'll take it and run the check A11Y function on it, uh, making sure that we use the root ID and get a detailed report. Save and run yarn test storybook. We see that we have some failing tests. Let's see what they're all about. First, we have a color contrast warning with a serious impact and some details about what's happening. We see that it is in the button story that we have this violation. So let's go to our button implementation and see this CSS file. Here I've pre-baked some quick fixes, so I'll uncomment that and run our tests again. Just changes the color slightly to something more accessible. And now all of our tests pass. Now that we've fixed our accessibility violations, we wanna add some tests to make sure that these components don't regress over time. We'll do this by creating tests, but we'll create those tests automatically. Open the storybook test runner JS file again, and add one line of configuration to the post render hook. Const accessibility tree equals await page.accessibility.snapshot. For now, let's log that to the console. The accessibility tree is a representation of how your page is interpreted by screen readers and other assistive technologies. Now, instead of just logging this, we can write a jest expectation. Expect accessibility tree to match snapshot. Save and run our tests again. We see that Jest stored eight snapshots for this passing test suite. And we can validate that they are stored by looking in our stories underscore underscore snapshot underscore underscore directory with these accessibility tree objects. Now the storybook test runner compares the accessibility tree anytime our components change. Now all this is great if you're the type of person who likes to run your tests in a terminal or you're setting this up in CI. But what if you wanna see these errors directly inside of your storybook? Well, we've got you covered there too. Add storybook add-on A11Y. Register your add-on in the storybook main.js file, then open any story to check for violations, though you will need to restart. Here in the add-ons pan, you'll see a new tab for accessibility. Here we see our four passing checks with detailed descriptions. And if we were to regress this styling, we could immediately see our violation in the violations tab. And conveniently for complex elements, we can actually select the elements that that violation or check highlights. So that's how you effortlessly add accessibility tests in your storybook. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or find us in Discord. If you'd like to learn how to automate other types of tests using Jest and React Testing Library, well, I think you'll like this video right here. Thanks to Chromatic for sponsoring this video. I'm Chantastic, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.